channel, Exploring It All. I'm Maracas Girl. Join me and my dad while we explore subscription boxes, the outdoors, gear and equipment, and other fun things and places. Before we get started, hit like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Well, thank you for that amazing introduction, Miraculous Girl, and thank you everyone for joining us again here on Exploring It All. So today we are up to part three of our Rare to Common Let's Go Fishing series, as I have so named it. And today we are going to be looking at the Angler Deluxe. Sometimes it was referred to as the Waterman. Although the Waterman came out in the 80s, and the Deluxe Angler, this one, I've pretty much narrowed it down to about 1992, which is pretty precise for a uh, Swiss Army knife. So, I'm sorry I'm going to keep wiping this one down. I, I got this one in beautiful condition uh, a few years ago. So, uh, let's get started on our back, I always want to call it back scale, but our back spring tools. And on this particular one, there's three and four, I guess, if you conclude that. But uh, so what we have, we have the awl with the sewing eye, and this is the current version of the awl. It's been around for uh, quite a while now. I, I want to say since about 1985, the awl with the sewing eye. And then we also have the parcel hook. And the parcel hook is one of the only back spring tools that actually extends further back than the 90 degrees perpendicular of most of your back spring tools. Uh, it can be used as a stand or something of that effect. A lot of, there's a lot of interesting uh, thoughts on the hook in, in uses for it, lifting pots off of fire and things of that sort. There are a few models that have the hook that has a file on the back. In fact, I have one right here. The compact actually has a hook with a file on the back. And then we have the current version of the corkscrew. Now, this one is has four turns. It's not fluted or anything like that. Now, one of the things that really narrows this one down, and this corkscrew has been around since 1995, or 91, I'm sorry, excuse me, 1991. Uh, one of the things is they introduced the pinhole in the scales in 91, and not long after that, just about every knife that came out had the pinhole in it because they were just using the same scale mold. This one does not have that pinhole in there. So that's why I'm thinking this is a very early release of this particular model. And there were not a lot of these produced is my understanding. Now, also in our scales, we have the metal, these are the metal inlays, they are not printed, so this this is not the printed inlay that we had on one of our Fishermen's. This one here on the Fisherman was uh, printed, and I don't know if they're currently printed or not, but uh, again, this, this particular model was only produced for a couple years. So you do have the metal, and then in your scales you're going to have the tweezers, our standard Victorian Knox tweezers. And then on the other side, you'll have the toothpick. Over here we have our toothpick. And then, I like to use a toothpick sometimes on grabbing tools using the head of that. And then the other thing is, is in our, what, 1991 position, you have your, your key ring and it's part of the uh, spring and not part of the liner, which it actually still is part of the liner, in, again, in the compact. 
It's one of the only ones that still has that as part of the liner. The, um, then over on our main tool set, we have the small pin knife, the small blade. I call it pin knife, but it's a spear point blade, kind of a combination spear point, draw point, but this is the smaller one. And then you have the larger one. And this one was tang stamped uh, Officer Swiss with the uh, cross touching the cross bow. And then on this side is Victoria Knox Switzerland stainless Ross Fry. And this tang stamp dates to uh, from 86 to 92. So we're not going past really 92 on this particular one this model so on the other side here you have your cap lifter bottle opener uh, with the wire bender there and then your slotted screwdriver and on the other side you have your fine screwdriver on your can opener as I've mentioned many times I like the can opener. I use mine regularly. Now, on this particular one, we have the second version of the pliers. You'll notice there is no wire crimper in the pliers that we had on our original angler. However, it does have the groove in the back of the handle here. The version that was came out prior to this one is a little bit thinner and so there was a, a earlier version that was a little bit thinner but this only only really has the three features of right here you're going to have the wire cutter and then you have the larger plier area gripper and then right up here at the tooth, you have more of a finer grip. And these are contoured in here. I don't know if the camera will be able to really pick up the contours of that. Maybe. But um, so you do just have three features without the crimper there instead of the fourth feature. But that is the pliers. Now, one of the things that makes this unique to the other one is, is we had the, the hook, which means we have the scissors. The hook and the scissors always go together. Now, this particular pair of scissors has the rivet joint, which started in 92. You also have the groove in the back of the the scissor and I believe the groove started in 90. Uh, they're still in the wider fit it looks like. So we do have the scissors so for fishing purposes what would be really cool with this is you actually have the scissors and the pliers. So I think that is super cool. And then of course it wouldn't be a fishing tool without the fish scaler. You know, and there's not a lot of companies out there that put out a fish scaler. Now, the fish scaler, I never put my toothpick back. I was using it to point with. Uh, you have your the scaling area here, and then you have the hook degorger tool right here, and you have the uh, inch ruler, and you have the centimeters, and half centimeter or uh, what does that be five millimeters so you have two different measurement uh, ways in there now this one being that it's 1992 they stopped magnetizing the tip of it in 85 so this one is not going to be magnetized unless I've magnetized it and I haven't so that is our fish scaler. Now, one of the things I like 
I will use this for is, and I used it for this one to be perfectly honest, this actually is great for uh, pulling up your stapler, staples. Uh, staple remover. Now, yes, you could probably fit uh, maybe, I wouldn't say the pliers are going to tear that up. You might be able to use like your cap lifter or something, but this tool actually does work really well as a staple remover. So that is my little uh, tidbit of information in there. Um, so that is a look at the Victorinox uh, Deluxe Angler. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe if you're not already. And remember, be nice to each other. And stay tuned because we will be having part four with a another fishing model that is, that, that is more rare than this one, in my opinion. Uh, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Be nice to each other. Okay, really did.